Welcome back. How you machine freaks doing? I hope you're enjoying your day. If you're new to the channel, I'm 3D Machines, aka Dalton. You are the machine freaks, and the team and I try to bring, uh, well, the team and I try to bring entertainment every day. Saying that sometimes the entertainment doesn't happen every day, and sometimes the team isn't involved, but there is somebody who's involved in this 3D Machines production, and that is the BMW that is myself, 3D Machines. We're go we are going to get something done today. Today is beautiful. Let's get into it. As you're aware, in the past, in the previous vlogs, you know that the BMW is having an overheating issue. It is overheating on the track after like five to 10 laps. That is unacceptable. It should be an efficient machine. You know, German engineering. So that's what I'm looking for. I want it to stay cool. But for whatever reason, it's not staying cool. Saying that, we had to fix this. And that's what we're going to do today. Before I get into the vlog though, I wanna remind you guys that there is a comment section, okay? I am going to do what I usually have done in the past and do a little bit of talking, do a little bit of working, and try to give you quality entertainment that you're going to enjoy. Your opinion matters. Leave it in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. So this is what's running through my head right now. I forgot my jack at home. I have my bumper off my car and I can't help but notice there's a dirt clump right there. I think there's some hope that I can turn that into a jack. What do you think? Yep, that helped a little bit. The only issue I have now is the spot that that tire was on, that spot, it reeks really badly. Here's the situation. I set aside the right tools. The only thing is, is I failed to bring them. Isn't it awesome when you break down a project or a fix how easy things can really be? That is if you have the right tools, of course. You know, I had to run down to my house, but all is well because I have the parts. I actually had to go to the store to buy another part, well, uh, some well, some gasket maker. And I got to move my truck so my truck's not in the shot anymore. What's better than getting out of the shot? And having a better shot? I love that. Do you love that? You love that. Come on, you love that. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but I did remove the fan. I need to get to this piece of plastic right here, but behind this is the thermostat. Now the thermostat regulates the temperature of the coolant. It either allows the coolant from the radiator in the engine block or keeps that fluid out of the engine block. What I think is happening is it's locked closed. Now the symptoms that I have tell me that the thermostat should be closed. Now if the thermostat is working, then it's a different problem. The thing is though, is I'm just going to completely remove the thermostat because I'm going to put this thing through absolute abuse. I'm gonna be chirping gears, I'm gonna be giving her the corn. And as you can see by all the gasket maker, somebody has been in here recently, but like I said, I'm going to tear this right out. I expect my engine to get hot and always run hot because I can't really run this car in the winter. There are no other options that I can think of than take the thermostat right out. For you that are unfamiliar with thermostats, this is what a thermostat looks like. It's just, it looks like a spring with a seal on it. And like I said, this regulates coolant flow. So this is the thing that says, okay, let's get the engine hotter or hey, let's get this engine cooler. I want a cool engine. I'm dropping it right out of the equation. And that should fix the situation, it should. Doesn't mean it's going to. Man, I really hope it does. Can't 
Can you imagine if all you had to ever do is take a part out of something to make it better? The world would be a beautiful place, wouldn't it? Okay, everything's all set, let's go for a rip. I'm just kidding. The reason is, is that plastic piece that is on top of the thermostat is leaking now. Or maybe it has before, I don't know. But also, the radiator cap is leaking, so that really, really sucks. Really bad. So I don't know if that's like a new thing that's just happened, or if that's like a recent thing that's had, that had happened. What I do know is I need to order those things because we can't let air in the system because that's what causes this thing to overheat. Now I gotta buy new parts. Can you see why this thing is a big money waster? Yes, you beautiful. Don't get me wrong though, I still love that car. And this track. Just got back to my place without any hesitation. I went onto the computer, freaking bought those parts, and now they're on their way. They're not even close, it's, it's after hours. The post office isn't doing anything. Slackers. Not really, that's their operation hours. People need to relax, you know? We need to sit back and enjoy what's going on in life and, and things of that nature, so, so I understand how operation hours work. This thing, on the other hand, does not understand that. This thing is a working machine. This thing does not stop. It keeps on going and going and going. No, it hasn't moved since Jake bought it. That might change tomorrow though. And if not tomorrow, definitely in the next day. Jake said so. So, so we're going on Jake's word, not mine. So you better be getting ready, Risky Ranger. Jake's coming to town. And of course you have the KTM still to work on and the GS1000, it's all gonna happen. It's all gonna happen, it's just, when is it going to happen? That's always the question. There's, there's just not enough hours in the day. You know what it's like, I know what it's like. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. If you did, smash the like button. Like I said, leave any concerns in the comment section below. If you want any 3D Machines merch, go to the link below as well. Use that comment section wisely. Don't be bitching and complaining. Tell me what you want to see. Constructive criticism, not negative bull Nobody wants to read that. I don't want to read that, and I will definitely never respond to you. If you ever want me to respond, create a very creative comment. That's how you get me to talk to you, or show appreciation. Enjoy your day, you guys. 3D Machines out.